Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can read and write the data from the Snowflake data warehouse in the Databricks. So for those of you who doesn't know what Snowflake is, Snowflake is, exact, uh, is actually a cloud data warehouse. It is an enterprise data warehouse where you can even store your semi-structured data apart from your structured data. So it is, you know, uh, you know, pretty new technology, but, uh, you know, most of the tech, uh, organizations are using Snowflake as their EDW. So let's go ahead and move to the, you know, portal where we can see how we can do this connectivity. So whenever you talk about Snowflake, uh, you know, let me show you the Snowflake account that I have. Let me go to the classic console here. So this will actually open the UI for my Snowflake data warehouse. And here, if you see, uh, you know, I, I have a database, I have a schema, I have all the tables. We will see how we can how we can actually read and write. So if you see, I have this test database over here and then I have this Databricks demo, right? This is the schema. Now, if I go back to the Snowflake uh, here, so in case of Snowflake, you basically need few things. These are the options basically which you need to provide whenever you're trying to connect Databricks to the uh, Snowflake. Now in this, first of all, the first thing is the Snowflake URL, which is already here, right? This is this URL is the Snowflake URL, which you need to provide over here. Then you need to provide your username and the password, which I have, you know, just hidden from here. And the third thing is the database, SF database. Now this is a standard format. You have to write it in this way only, right? SF URL, SF user, SF password, SF database, SF schema. This is how you need to actually write it. Now SF database, test database, right? So here, this is the database, test database that I have created. Now I want to connect to this particular database, right? And then I want to connect to a particular schema, right? Now this is the name of the schema that I want to connect to. This is the schema, S-C-H-E-M-A, right? I want to connect to this particular schema and then what warehouse I want to use. I want to use compute warehouse so sf warehouse is actually present here right where this is the warehouse this is the size of the warehouse basically uh for this you need to understand you know how snowflake works but yes uh, this is the size of the warehouse that you actually uh, you know uh, have to provide over here so now once you have these options defined you can simply say the first thing that you can see is spark.read.format csv i am reading a data set now i have already talked about databricks default data sets right uh, which are presented by uh, databricks by default there are some sample data sets so these sample data sets i'm talking about you can take these data sets uh, and anytime for any of your uh, you know purpose so i'm reading from adult dot data i'm reading from this particular file which is present at this location header equal to true i'm reading the csv file and then i'm writing it dot write dot format snowflake i'm writing it in snowflake format and i'm giving dot options star star options now this star star option is nothing but these pa connectivity parameters over here it is automatically going to take these options then mode append essentially it will append to the table and db dot table it is going to create this table right so let me just run it so the moment I run this, you will actually see that even in my Snowflake data warehouse, I am able to, you know, see this particular table named as table 01, which has this data set. So let us run this. Here, basically what I have done, I have configured some options. Basically, I have defined what is the name of, uh, you know, what is the URL, what is the username, password, which database I want to connect to, under which schema. Uh, I want to go and then what data warehouse I want to use which size of data warehouse I want to use which is compute warehouse now you see that this has run it has created a spark job right now if I go back to my worksheet over here and if I do this now you can see that this table has been created right now if I want to do a simple select star if I want to do uh, you know a preview data I can simply click on preview data and you can see this is how my data looks like, right? So I have loaded the data into the table now. Also, 
Uh, now, if I want to read the data from that table, right? In that case, I'm using a data frame, spark.read.format. Now, my format is a snowflake format, right? Options is the same options which I have specified at the top. And then I'm trying to execute a query. So in the option, I will write a query. And then whatever query I want to write. So if you want to do a join, you want to truncate the table, you want to delete the table, whatever query you want to operate that query you need to specify it over here and then i'm going to display my data frame so if i run it over here you can see that the data from my table comes here right now you can see this is how my data looks like now let me do one thing uh, you know uh, uh, let, okay let let the table be here now if i want to do the same thing in scala uh, it is essentially same, just a little bit syntax is different. Uh, instead of options, you have val options. You have to do some, you, you have to apply a map here, right? This is just syntactically different in Scala. Previously, I was doing it in Python. I've just used the magic command here. It is almost the same thing. Now I'm again, uh, you know, connecting to the test database, you know, but this time I'm, uh, you know, working on the Databricks demo schema. I have changed my schema, right? I've changed my schema here now uh, in case of data uh, in case of uh, you know scala uh, you need to actually import snowflake utils here right you need to import the uh, you know this uh, library which is basically snowflake spark uh, utils you need to import that now using that utils you can actually run a query so uh, you know for example utils dot run query it is the default api which is present you can use this options which is present here this options is nothing but the connection parameters so the moment you use these options you can you know create a database you can create anything actually over here right create schema if not exist demo 01 drop table if exists adult so like that you can run your queries here so now if i run this command you will actually see that uh, you know this run query what uh, you have imported so from utils actually this run query is present in in a run query is actually present in your utils and uh, providing the connection details through options we can actually run the queries here right now if i go here let me just refresh it now you can see it has created databricks demo 01 right it has created databricks demo 01 it has created it through scala now if you want to you know run uh, let me just uncomment it now if you want to run any query you know create table query or anything of that sort that kind of thing also you can do it through this now let me just re-execute it it will essentially create an adult table table named as adult and uh, yeah it has run this command now let me again go and refresh it now you can see under this databricks demo it has created adult table right now why it has created it uh, because you have executed this whole statement right for options right now if you see these options over here this option if you go up this is the same options right here you have defined that you want to work on sf schema you want to create you want to use this SF schema, which is Databricks demo. So if you go inside this Databricks demo, that is why it has created your adult table inside this Databricks demo. So this is how actually it works. And similarly, if you want to read the data or you want to write the data, even in the Scala, you can do the same way. Now the same thing which I've done there, I, uh, you know, in the Python, I'm doing it in Scala, spark.read.format CSV, you know, header equal to true. And I'm using, you know the same data set and then i'm writing it in snowflake format in the same table right which i have created just now so i'm writing it in the table which i have created just now so now even my adult table here will have data it will start writing the data to my adult table so initially there is no data but the moment this query gets executed you will see that the data has been written to that table so this is how beautiful, you know, your Databricks is. You have so many connectivities, you know, you can connect to a lot of sources. You can read and write from a lot of sources. Actually, now you can see it has the data, right? So essentially, uh, you know, I hope this helps. This will help you in your day to day project activities as well. You, you now you know how to connect Snowflake as well, how to read and write from Snowflake as well. 
so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to subscribe like and share my channel thank you so much